Welcome to Nintendo Direct Mini, one quick presentation packed with news on select Nintendo Switch games planned to release this year. Let's get right to it. The highly stylized and critically acclaimed Nintendo DS game, The World Ends With You, is coming to Nintendo Switch 10 years after its original release. When the main character, Neku, suddenly encounters the mysterious girl, Shiki, he gets caught up in a deadly game. He'll be erased from existence if he can't complete a series of twisted tasks. Tear into each rhythmic battle using the game's traditional touch controls or Joy-Con controllers for a fresh style of combat. I never beat this game. The action RPG will also include a sizable new scenario that gets right to the heart of the story. The World Ends With You Final Remix will launch this year. I'll actually play this because I've never beat this game, so this is a cool announcement. Ten years ago? That's dope. Boasting strong offense and defense, the technical style battle Pokemon Aegis Slash can change between two forms, and you can wield them both when this new playable character and other Pokemon become available through the paid DLC, Pokemon Tournament Deluxe Battle Pack. Greninja. This content will be released in two ways. Nobody asked for this. The character. first containing Aegis Slash and a new support Pokemon set featuring Mega Rayquaza and Mimikyu. Oh. I love Mimikyu. Okay. The second wave includes the new battle Pokemon, Blastoise, and a new support Pokemon set featuring Mew and Celebi. <gasps> the battle Celebi. pack will also include avatar items and more. With these new Pokemon joining the fray, the battle is just getting started. Blastoise is dope, but... Wave 1 will be available January 31st, and the entire Pokemon Tournament <sighs> Deluxe Battle Pitch Pack slash. is available for purchase now. Kirby cool. Star Allies will debut new copy it's abilities. Such cool, but whatever. Unleash your creativity with the artist ability. You could just paint. And ensnare enemies in webs with the new spider ability. Okay. You can even mix and match ability combos to create new friend abilities. Combine water and ice to make an icicle lance. Toss a friend with friend throw and more. With four-player co-op, you can open up new paths by sharing copy abilities and working together. That's really cool. I like multiplayer. I wonder, I wonder if you could do that online. Probably Powerful not. enemies will stand in your way. Including an unknown deep space threat. Can Kirby and his friends join forces to save Dreamland? Find out when Kirby Star Allies releases on March 16th. Cool. At least Kirby fans, on the Switch. Don't forget to try out the Kirby Battle Royale demo currently available in Nintendo eShop for Nintendo 3DS. And speaking of demos, look out for the Dragon Quest Builders demo, which launches today mm. in Nintendo eShop for Nintendo Switch. Okay. The goddess Rubus has spoken. Seeing Builders makes me think of... Hyrule Warriors brought the world and characters the of the Legend of Zelda series to life in new ways. And now, the ultimate version of the fan this, favorite this game is, is coming to Nintendo Switch this, this spring. This new version brings this every month. map, character, and mission from both the Wii U game and the Nintendo second, 3DS Nintendo, game. How come this quality is so abysmal? What the hell? Alright, whatever. And together, including all the original premium downloadable content. That means you can play Hyrule Warriors anytime, anywhere, with anyone, using yeah, yeah, yeah. 29 playable characters. Enjoy up to full 1080p HD graphics in TV mode the and two-player multiplayer on a single system by sharing Joy-Con controls. Same 1080p right now. Plus, but, we're adding in Link and Zelda outfits based on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Please. This ultimate version of Hyrule Warriors will let you play everything the game has to offer when it launches this spring. It's like the millionth time that they released the game, but cool. I'm gonna pause right here. Nope, nope, nope. A new before we get into this y'all let me talk to you real quick man we're gonna we're gonna watch this but let me tell you something real quick the last time nintendo made a tennis game nintendo ultra smash whatever nintendo ultra smash what is it no not nintendo mario tennis ultra smash 
ever since Mario Tennis 64, I feel like Mario Tennis just went like, for, it went like this. It was like Mario Tennis 64, the bar was high. It was high. It was high. I love Hyrule Warriors, by the way. Just to keep it clear, love Hyrule Warriors. Hyrule Warriors, I feel like, though, they definitely are milking it. It came out already on the Wii U. Great. Then they re uh, released the Legends on... Uh, it came out on the Wii U. Then it's on uh, it's on 3DS. And, and then they released new characters on that. Then they were like, all right, since you have uh, on the Wii U, people probably couldn't get characters. Now you could get these characters or whatever if you have Legends or if you get the DLC, etc., etc. And now... They're gonna re-release it on the Switch. I'm. Why? Why are you gonna put the nail in the coffin for Fire Emblem Warriors? Why are you gonna just throw Hyrule Warriors in there? We already got Fire Emblem Warriors. We're good. Why? Why re-release it? They're 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 running back games that we're not asking to get ran back, at all. And, back on topic, Mario Tennis 64 was like this, right? And then now, then then they went to the the GameCube one. And then the Wii one went like this for me. Oh, why am I ASMRing? It's literally 6 a.m. right now, and I have roommates. Um, anyway, um, if you can't hear me, I'm gonna like raise the volume. But I swore people were able to hear me. In any event, um, we need to continue. I'm just kind of mad with what Nintendo has done to the Mario Tennis series because 64 was so amazing. And then the GameCube one, I was like, this is passable, but I don't think there's a real need for special moves. And then Ultra Smash just like fell flat on its face. Mario Tennis game is bringing a new level of skill and competition to Nintendo Switch. Mario steps onto the court in classy tennis garb for intense rallies against a variety of characters in full-blown tennis battles. That sets this apart from the new other wrinkles in tennis gameplay will challenge your ability to read an opponent's position and stroke to determine which shot will give you the advantage. And this time, the game adds the first story mode since the Mario Tennis Power Tour game on Game Boy Advance, offering a new flavor of tennis gameplay with a variety of missions, boss battles, and more. Okay, interesting. Stay tuned for more updates about this new approach to Mario Tennis. Mario Tennis Aces launches on Nintendo Switch this spring. Okay, before we continue, I'm hoping 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 that single player mode looks kind of cool i'll say that much um that means that they're actually trying now with uh you know providing a different experience um as other than just like hey by the way here um here are you know here are a bunch of characters here are a bunch of stages have fun playing versus mode i hope there's online play because I would love to play Mario Tennis online. I was such a fiend for Mario Tennis. And for them to miss that opportunity when there's other games on the Wii U that have online play. Come on now. Anyway, so Mario Tennis Aces. I'm going to be hopeful. Like, please put online on that. Don't be dumb. Never played the series. When his ship sank, the adventurer Adol drifted to a deserted island inhabited by vicious creatures that have evolved in many different ways. To survive, Adol must gather the survivors and build a base. As his adventure progresses, so too will his base. Along the way, there will be groups of marauding monsters to fend off. Slash, strike, and pierce. These high-speed battles require you to alternate between your characters and their attack types to take advantage of their weaknesses. Then, when the moment is right, unleash your special moves. Adol, who fights for survival, and the mysterious Donna, who appears in his dreams, two souls separated by time and space will change the course of history. Now you can enjoy the epic tale of East 8 on your TV or on the go. East 8, Lacrimosa of Donna, journeys onto Nintendo Switch this East summer. Eight. Okay. Looks interesting. A free update is coming to Super Mario Odyssey. After downloading the update and beating the main story, a new online activity called Balloon World will become available. Just talk to Luigi to get started with one of the two competitive modes. In Hide It mode, you have 30 seconds to hide a balloon. In Find It mode, the tables turn 
and you get 30 seconds to try and find balloons hidden by other players around the world. Okay. By finding balloons other players have hidden and hiding your own balloons in unexpected, hard to find places, you can move up in the rankings. The key to setting high scores is knowing every nook and cranny of a kingdom's terrain. It's like a new form of objective-based speedrunning. The update will also include new outfits and new filters for snapshot mode. <laughs> Money. Cloud this points. Super Mario Odyssey update will be released this February. Fan favorite heroines from SNK have gathered together for two on two tag team action. Activate a variety of moves in battle with just one button. Then, while changing characters, get the upper hand using a huge variety of items. But the party won't stop just because you took down your opponent's HP. Get them in a tough spot and initiate the ultra special move Dream Finish. Well, that's one way to win a fight. By customizing your fighters, you can show them what you're made of. Clothing, not attack. Please. Time to party on to victory with some of your favorite leading ladies. Finish. SNK Heroines Tag Team Frenzy will throw down on Nintendo Switch this summer. I'm actually liking this game. This Fighting cool. fans, take note. This title will feature Yuri Sakazaki, who also appears in Arcade Archives, Neo Geo Art of Fighting 2, which launches today on Nintendo eShop for Nintendo Switch. I like SNK Fighter. Cool. I like the Mario Fighter Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle has new downloadable content on the way, and it tells a new story starring one of Mario's oldest frenemies in a new world. Just. Yeah, I need to understand. I'm a big Mario Plus Rabbids fiend. I 100% of the game, destroyed the DLC. I am waiting to be wowed right now. So far, the direct, it's okay. I'm enjoying it, you know. Um, the Yeast game, Yeast 8, I'm, I'm probably gonna play it. I love JRPGs. Um, Mario Tennis, they barely told me anything. It looks pretty, but so does the Wii U run, right? It looks pretty, but it's still like, you know, one man's trash is another man's treasure, right? So some person may look at it and be like, oh, this game looks hype from looking at it, but to me, after touching it, I know it's trash. Unfortunately, with the with the Wii U version, Mario Ultra Smash, uh, Tennis Ultra Smash, I don't think anybody saw that as treasure. Everybody saw that as trash. So that quote doesn't even apply. We're going to move forward. Um, Hyrule Warriors is getting stuff down our throats again. Um, our esophagus is just getting widened with Hyrule Warriors. Pokemon Tournament. No characters that I've seen people clamor for. No Greninja. Come on, man. Greninja. Just give me Greninja. We have yet to see Greninja. We have new DLC for Mario Odyssey, which I guess it sounds like something fun to play maybe with uh, maybe with viewers as a streamer, I guess. You know, um, but how long does that last? How long is the staying power going to be for that? And it was cool that they showed a nod to speedrunners by mentioning them. But really, what was the first thing that they showed? Kirby? Why can't I even remember the first thing that I saw? Was it that much of an afterthought? Look at the trailer. Donkey Kong will cool. swing into action in a new DLC pack this spring. I'm waiting. I'll play it. I'll play it. Loot everything from diamonds to cold hard cash when multiplayer co-op shooter Payday 2 comes to Nintendo Switch. Pick the perfect loadout and work together with your friends locally or online with CrimeNet, which allows you to invite up to three friends who also own the Nintendo Switch version. Yo, you can navigate menus with the touchscreen, while HD Rumble lets you feel everything from explosions to I'm weapon down. recoil. 
plus a brand new heister is premiering as a timed exclusive in the Nintendo Switch version. The Japanese computer whiz Joy has a changing LED mask, her own weapons, and hacker perks, so no firewall stands a chance. You can take your favorite heisting experience on the go when Payday 2 sneaks onto Nintendo Switch February 27th. I would... Then again, I never played Payday, so I might be good. What's this? A dark force beckons in Fae, a new type of platforming adventure, and we have a new look at its world and creatures. Run, climb, and glide your way through a dark Nordic forest to explore its living, breathing world filled with secrets, legends, and mystical creatures. Use the Joy-Con motion controls to sing in tune with creatures and plants to unlock new abilities. Each song has a distinct sound and feel thanks to HD rumble, so you can experience each encounter in a different way. Many secrets await when Faye releases on Nintendo Switch February 16th. Be down for Faye, though. As for Celeste, it's a modern take on the action platformer. If she has the stamina, Madeline can climb any surface on Celeste Mountain. There she'll journey across many dangerous environments using her mid-air dash to explore strange places and meet peculiar characters. But don't get spooked. Playing in assist mode lets you tweak the difficulty, from a slower pace to full-on invincibility. Whatever sounds fun. Or, if you really want to white-knuckle it, take on the challenging B-side chapters. Celeste launches on Nintendo Switch January 25th. Celeste is hype. Celeste? I'm gonna I'm I'm spend extra time on Celeste. At first, when I saw Celeste, I was like, okay, cool, 2D game, but let's not immediately judge it for being a 2D game, right? Let's just, like, look at it and think objectively. Whatever they show us right here will make or break our impression and the fact that they showed all that all that cool stuff that you could do with the character i could already see that being the, the wall jumps the air dashes options games that have options are beautiful games these are games that will allow creative minds to just play the game literally any way they want so good job good job good job Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is powering up for the franchise's debut on Nintendo Switch. Join Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong. Shut up. All right, so this game, this, this game, I don't care if I get cut off on that. This game is the devil. This game is the devil. I played this game before on stream. And I will tell you right now, it is the devil. You will break your controller if you play it. Also, that is not my queen. Thank you, Kong, for this critically acclaimed adventure, which you can now enjoy in a chill new mode as groovy surfing Simeon Funky Kong. New character. He can double jump, hover, perform infinite rolls, and even perform infinite underwater corkscrews. Thanks to his sturdy surfboard, even spikes can't slow him down. And whoa, what's going on here? Man, this guy really knows how to keep his cool. Thanks to this righteous dude, even stages packed with perils can be smooth surfing. Of course, the bodacious original experience is still here too, and you can enjoy both modes with a friend or two-player co-op. Enjoy this funky adventure anytime, anywhere, with anyone. Come on, man. Funky Kong looks dope. I'm happy of, of all the moves he has, but my dude could literally go on top of spikes for free. You saw that? That's gaming journalist mode right there you know if you're if you're a gaming journalist and they they hit you with that early copy and they tell you to review it you're definitely going to be playing funky kong damn man this game feels hard hey man don't worry yo go funky kong you could go into spikes dude oh really thanks dog donkey kong country tropical freeze surfs onto nintendo switch may 4th Nintendo fans, something wicked this way comes, and we have a trailer to prove it.
sorry for killing the hype of the trailer for y'all, but I was just talking uh, talking about how Nintendo introduced Funky Kong to 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 Tropical Freeze, so that you know if you wanted to play the game easier, it's free. And now we're literally having the Dark Souls of Dark Souls trailer right here. Do they understand that Dark Souls? All right, wait, let's run back the trailer, man. My bad for killing the buildup. I never played a Dark Souls in my life. I can't wait to see people rage. <laughs> the Dark Souls of Remasters, dude. <laughs> wait, is that it? We hope you enjoyed this Nintendo Direct Mini. As always, we'll continue to deliver new information in the future, so please stay tuned. Thank you for watching.